Okay, now we're doing another experiment and we're putting one milliliter of catalase to start off in each of the three test tubes. And then you need to label them. And so we need your, um, yep, you need your pen again. And so with the pen, you're going to make an H for hot on one of them, a C for cold on another, and then you don't have to put anything on the other one. Yep, he's still working, go ahead. You can go get them over there, okay? And you should also probably put the letter of your name on it too, so that when we put them all together in the in the ice or in the heat, um, we'll know who's is who. So are we going to put this in here and then wait a minute? Yep, and then you're going to measure. Okay. And wait a minute, don't do it yet. Right now, their cold, their cold test tubes are in the cold water. And their hot test tubes are in the hot water. And so while we're waiting for that to get nice and hot, and we're waiting for this to get nice and cold, my three students are going to work on their room temperature one. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and add, ooh, keep that on. We're going to add hydrogen peroxide into the test tube, one milliliter. And then we're going to wait for one minute, and then we'll measure. And science girl, you can measure. Your time's been one minute. Okay. You too, science helper. It's about three. And wait, ten more seconds, science boy. This one's one, so normal's okay. one. So you're gonna write it down for normal. You can go ahead, science boy. And again, you're measuring the bubbles. You're not measuring from the bottom, right? Yep. Just in centimeters, yep. And just the bubbles, not from the green stuff at the bottom. And you can write that down for normal. And then, science girl, do you think you can find which test tube is your cold one? Okay, very good. So then you guys can put one milliliter of hydrogen peroxide, the brown stuff, in those. To the top. Just one mil, yep. You should put it in the test tube holder, science boy, or science helper. Okay, then put it in and wait one minute. Another. Another minute. There's a lot of waiting in this lab. Get out, honey. Go ahead and measure now your cold one. You gonna measure, science helper? Measure your cold one. Which one's the cold one? This one. See? Cool. And can you hold the other one up? Which one's taller? This it's, one, because it's the Can you get your gloves harder. out of the way a little bit? Sorry. Beautiful. Cool. But I didn't know what so when you handle... Okay, easy does it. When you handle um, hot stuff, you need to use tongs. And um, make sure you always point the tip of the test tube away from yourself. Good. And so I'll bring this over to the kids. So when you okay, so, so now right. you're not touching the hot test tubes with your fingers, right? You're just going to use the right. hydrogen peroxide, yep, get one milliliter of it, and put it... And then we're going to wait one minute. Good. Oh, don't touch it yet. you got to wait a minute. Nothing's happening with the hot one. You know why? Why? Because it's hot? Because the hot did something to the enzyme to make it not work. It dun, dun, dun. If you want to videotape me, I'll show you what it did. No thanks. I'll do it. Okay, so we're going to imagine that the enzyme looks like this. The enzyme is a protein. It's made out of amino acids. So every little one of those beads is an amino acid. Mm -hmm. And the enzyme has to be folded just right to work. So the enzyme will take 
And so it's a molecule that looks like this, two O's to a hydrogen and a hydrogen. And you break that off and you get an O to an H and an H plus an O to an O. And of course you get two of those and start with two of those. So here's your enzyme and it will take this stuff and break it apart into that stuff. When you heat it up, enzymes denature, which means the bonds, the hydrogen bonds that are holding them together come apart. And now your enzyme doesn't look right anymore. So it's like taking a key and melting it. If I melt this key, can I still open my door? No. And if I take this enzyme and unwind it, can it still work? No. Did the hot one do anything? No. Nope. Can you zoom in on that? There's the hot one. Did it bubble at all? Keep those on. Mama, I have a question. So, if what would happen if I kept putting all this stuff in? Would it ever change? Not with the hot one. Okay. If you put more into the cold one, Go ahead. So now we're putting up our data for the hot, the cold, and the room temperature. So if you want to get exact numbers in here, the hot should have been at about 100 degrees Celsius. And so what you'll do is take this data and average it, and then you can plot that data.